my neighbor's lawnmower in the background. He's been going for about an hour, and I thought I would wait for him, but I was like, you know what? I cannot wait any longer. I'm not dealing with it, so I'm sorry. You're going to hear it. Bear with me, children. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with some spooky book recommendations. A lot of them, I would say, aren't that scary. They're more just like psychological thrillery. Which y'all know is my thing, so... so... without further ado, let us get started! So the first book I have is a young adult thriller novel, and it's more on the like tame side, so it's not really that spooky. It's just kind of graphic at times, and it is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I've talked about this on my channel a lot. I love this book. Just the whole concept of like mean girls meets exorcism is just... I feel like it's an interesting twist, and I just really like it. I think I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I have a full review of it if you guys want to check it out. But it's about this girl named Sophia and these four other girls at her high school, and they're all friends. And then three of the girls decide that one of the girls in the school named Bridget... I think her name is Bridget. We're gonna call her Bridget because I honestly don't remember. But Bridget needs an exorcism because she's possessed by the devil, so they take it into their own hands. And that's basically where it takes off. The next book is more an adult book, I would say, targeted at adults. And it is also a thriller, and it is The Magician by D.A. Pupa. This book follows a man named Frank Sorello, and he is a investigator. And he is trying to catch a serial killer that he has not been able to catch for a couple of years now. And the serial killer actually killed his wife, so he's dealing with it on a very personal level. It is so underrated, it's so creepy, the serial killer you get to see inside his mind and it's just so interesting the way he thinks. And just, I highly recommend this book. Also have a review if y'all want to check it out. Just, it's a good one. It's a good one. The next is actually becoming a movie. I believe it's out now and I'm going to go see it very soon and it is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hopkins. This book follows Rachel who takes the same train every morning and she always passes by this couple on a house that is the neighbors of where she used to live and then one day she sees something a little out of the ordinary and she begins to be pulled into this police investigation. I did enjoy it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It wasn't the most amazing book I've ever seen, but it did keep me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I would say it's more spooky as in it messes with your mind because you think you know what's going on and then at the last second you have no idea what's going on and all shit breaks loose and it just hits the fan and you're just sitting there like, okay, that happened. So, it's a good book, you should read it. The next book I have is The Hand of the Devil and this is by Dean Vincent Carter. This book is about a mad scientist and he lives on this private island. He basically lures investigative journalists and like newspaper people to this island and he has this giant bug that he says is like super rare and blah blah blah. But it turns out that this giant mosquito is a man-eating and he uses the man-eating mosquito to work on his experiments. I'm sorry, but personally, I think that a man-eating mosquito is very spooky. I would not want to be in a world with a giant man-eating mosquito, so I think I gave this book a 3 or a 4 out of 5 stars. I can't remember, but I remember being very creeped out when I read it. The next book is You by Caroline Kepneys, and this book follows Joe, who is stalking a girl named Beck. But the story is told from his perspective, so you're inside his head. I actually listened to this on audiobook. And I highly recommend it on audiobook because you get to hear everything Joe's thinking and it just makes it 20 times more spooky and creepy. And it's weird because you're sitting there and you're rooting for Joe and you're like, yes, Joe, get the girl. But then you're also sitting there like, that's really creepy. You're literally a stalker, but I want you to be like happy in this relationship. It's messed up. It messes with your head so hard. I have a review of it. If you want to check it out, it'll be up there. The next book that I have, I don't actually have a physical copy because I listened to it on audiobook as well. And it is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. This book follows Libby Day and and it is a bunch of years after her family was murdered by her brother. She got invited to this conference because she's running out of money and so she's looking for a way to make a quick buck and she goes to this conference that is basically a get-together of people who like murderers and stuff like that 
and they are trying to clear Ben Day's name. So basically, it's Libby trying to solve the murder mystery of her whole family. There's also a movie. I would highly suggest watching the movie because it's super creepy, and I just love this book. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would, and it is definitely one of Gillian Flynn's more creepy books. I liked it a lot better than Gone Girl. I only watched the movie of Gone Girl, and I read like half of the book and then just stopped. The next book that I have on my list, I also don't have a physical copy because I read it on audiobook, and it is The Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. And this is a historical fiction book, but it's also like a murder mystery. It's very interesting. I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, but it follows this girl and a guy, and they're trying to solve this mystery of her uncle dying. It was spooky because the twist you don't see coming, so if you like plot twists, I would read this book. And my final book is Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I love this book book so much. I have a review if you want to check that out as well. It follows a girl who gets amnesia because she was kidnapped and it's basically her trying to figure out and put the mystery puzzle pieces in to place to figure out what actually happened to her. Highly recommend it. So good. Just yes. Just all the yeses. Alright guys, so that was my spooky book recommendations. Hopefully you guys have found some books that you want to read. I don't know, I really enjoyed all of them. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!